Mm, yeah, I really enjoy uh, wearing this perfume this fall. Oh my god, yeah, definitely a Chanel. Definitely a Chanel style, a Chanel vibe. Very mature, smart, sophisticated, elegant woman. Bonjour, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see you today for another French perfume review. And for the subscriber here, I'm a listener of you, every chic, classic, iconic perfume. Some of them are vintage and exclusive. I also make lifestyle videos. So if you like this channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget also to leave a comment. No stickling, peppery, spicy perfume laced with a beautiful, rich rose balanced with some sweetness and fruity notes. This is a beautiful 80s powerful powdery perfume from the Maison Chanel. Yes, tonight I'm going to review Coco Chanel Eau de Parfum. Beautiful, a beautiful perfume of course. We still have the design from Maison Chanel. Classy, elegant, iconic uh, perfume. This is a beautiful fall perfume I recently discovered and I like to wear during this season. And the nose behind this perfume is of course the iconic uh, Jacques Paul. He created numerous perfumes for Maison Chanel including uh, Egoist which is an iconic perfume, Cristal, Cristal Overt, Cristal Eau de Parfum, iconic green Chypre uh, from Maison Chanel. Jack Pauls also made uh, the new version of the number five. He also created numerous perfumes from the exclusive uh, collection. In fact, he also made several perfumes for uh, Ungaro, you know, uh, Senso, which is also one of my favorite 80s vintage perfume, and Diva. So usually Jack Pauls made very powerful, powdery uh, perfume, uh, also so iconic perfume from the 80s. Coco is a mysterious, complex, nostalgic perfume, a very spicy, ombery, warm perfume, a lot of coriander on the opening, so spices and powdery, floral powdery on the dry down. This is a very powerful 80s perfume and you're gonna also find some 80s iconic notes, for example the peach. So this is roses laced with amber cloves and civet, so a little bit animalic also on the dry down. Lush roses with some resinous balsamic uh, notes and sweet, sweet powdery notes on the dry down. It's a little bit more flowery compared to opium or cinnabar, which has also very intense, uh, warm and spicy perfume from uh, Yves Saint Laurent and Estée Lauder. This perfume is more muted, more nuanced compared to opium and, and cinnabar. This is still rich. Uh, dense, very dense, very opulent, but this is super elegant. The story is I also discovered this perfume. The first time I bought this perfume, it was in Miami. And to be honest with you, I don't think this is a, a perfume for like very warm Caribbean uh, tropical weather, not at all. And when I bought this perfume in Miami, I didn't like it at all. I didn't like it at all. And uh, the truth is because this is absolutely not a warm weather uh, perfume. It develops very, very differently if you wear this perfume, for example, in Miami or in Europe, in Paris. This is definitely a fall, a fall seasonal transition uh, perfume but definitely a fall because of the warmness of this perfume of the sweetness and of the spiciness of this perfume wearing this one in miami it's not definitely a not good idea and i didn't like how it develops i didn't get this powdery sweetness and floral notes i only get something spicy and with a tropical weather the humidity it was terrible terrible and here in Paris, this is the perfect fall 
perfume. I really, really enjoy also the dry down on my clothes. It's very, very floral and the opening is different, very different compared to the dry down. And uh, I'm going to uh, smell this perfume with you and also uh, compare and detail all the opening and the dry down of this perfume. So I really learned how to wear this perfume and I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed, but the first time I bought this perfume, I didn't like it at all. And yes, there's something a little bit mature in this perfume. Definitely, it's definitely an 80s perfume. It's a little bit vintagey, a little bit mature, old school because of this very strong, very strong, intense powdery uh, notes and a little bit also floral. So let's start to smell this beautiful, beautiful Chanel uh, perfume. Mmm, oh la la. Yeah, definitely Chanel, okay? Definitely Chanel, definitely elegant. Um, oh yeah, intense, elegant, with his 80s, uh, 80s style, 80s vibe. Mm, yeah, so yes, on the opening, you got some tickling notes uh, from the paper. Uh, the opening is fresh and spicy, I'm gonna say. It's still rich, even on the opening. Uh, it's not green at all. There's nothing green in this perfume, even there's a lot of spiciness. Um, yeah, it's still the paper and the coriander are very strong and you get some rich notes. So it's a very flowery perfume, more flowery compared to the spicy 80s perfume like Opium or Cinnabar, like I said. So that's why it's a very Chanel perfume because it's more nuanced, uh, more elegant and very, very powdery and floral. You got also the fruity notes which are very iconic. You know, many perfume in the 80s have a fruity note the orange, the peach, especially the peach. It was very, very trendy in the 80s uh, to add. A lot of nose added this perfume, this very fruity sweetness uh, notes. Uh, so it's very iconic from the 80s and this perfume has a lot of sweetness also on the opening. You got a very energetic uh, cloves. So the cloves is very present with the coriander. It's very energetic uh, and it develops a little bit uh, more also on the dry down. It's intense and dominant. So there's a lot of spiciness also on the dry down. But it's very well balanced, very well balanced with the rose. Yeah, very well balanced with a rich and dense, very dense rose and the sweet uh, mimosa and you got also some clean uh, jasmine. So very, very floral on the dry down. And like I said, the opening is more, very different compared to the dry down. The dry down is more rich, intense, floral and you get still a lot of intense and dominant spiciness with the cloves and the coriander. And you got some delicate, dreamy, uh, neroli, orange blossom some uh, notes so gave some more dreaminess something a little bit uh, elegant to this perfume. The dry down is sweet, powdery, floral, uh, very ambery so the base of this perfume is very ambery with a musk, uh, I got musk sandalwood, very warm livery notes, a lot of vanilla sandalwood so this is a very oriental uh, oriental perfume. Coco Chanel is like uh, an oriental spicy fall uh, perfume and yes there's something very powdery, very mature uh, in in this perfume but it's not dated to me it's not dated it's just uh, more sophisticated but most of the fall spicy perfume I love that I think they are very challenging in the sense that they are more sophisticated more dense with a spiciness and a lot of rich opulent floral notes so how to wear this perfume uh, this is currently my work full work uh, perfume at the office i love to wear this perfume when i wear some very fall uh, fall color camel beige burgundy uh, definitely a work office perfume even it's a little bit opulent uh, intense it's not it's more nuanced okay it's very flowery and during the fall I like to wear more spicy warm perfume it's still a work perfume because it's less intense or less you know less loud I'm gonna say compared to uh, for example opium by Yves Saint Laurent I wouldn't wear opium by Yves Saint Laurent at work day of uh, day of uh, fall perfume fancy cocktail fancy lunch 
uh, work lunch also or all day. All about the sillage, the projection. So this is a eau de parfum version and the sillage is pretty strong. Pretty strong projection, also pretty strong sillage. Pretty, pretty intense perfume because of the cloves, uh, a spicy, the cinnamon. I really also smell some cinnamon in this perfume. So the spiciness, the warm, the rich, dense rose make it uh, yeah, very strong and intense. Uh, it lasts six hours at least. So I made a review today of Coco, uh, Eau de Parfum Coco by Maison Chanel. Beautiful fall perfume. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget also to leave a comment about uh, this perfume. And I see you very soon for another perfume review. Bye.